All right, uh, welcome to this uh, weekend market analysis uh, where last week we were able to uh, look into the charts and of course uh, for the few trades we uh, took, they all went in our direction, all right? Uh, although we had a little of um, a low volume market, okay? But then we were still able to squeeze out uh, a few pips uh, out of the uh, market. So in this uh, weekend market analysis, we are going to be looking into a few pairs and of course deciding uh, what directional biases we are, going, we are going to be trading for the week. Before that, let's look into the uh, Forex factory economical calendar to see those high impact news announcements that are scheduled for this uh, trading week. Well, we have so many uh, high impact news announcements. As you can see, uh, the uh, red items right there are all high impact news announcements. Uh, this is a heavily populated um uh week all right with high impact news announcement uh it means we might be having a very busy trading week and of course uh when the charts are busy we are going to be having uh better opportunities uh to trade so we have the uh fomc we have um <coughs> interest rate announcement we have employment data all of those are heavyweight high impact news announcement so we will uh, keep our all of this on our notepads uh, please pay serious attention to them as you trade especially in the intraday time frames all right now let's move into the charts and conduct our analysis uh, beginning with the euro against the american dollar well <clears throat> i had pre -conduct conducted my analysis already and so i'm just going to be showing you uh, what i saw in the charts so in the euro against the american dollar in the weekly time frame uh, you can see <coughs> obviously here the price um it's currently trading around a leaning trend line in fact the outer trend line okay the outer trend line and of course uh what did we see in our last week's surprise action we saw a doji you can see that uh, uh candlestick formation right there a doji which is a sign of indecision right so price trading around this area uh got confused on what to do whether to push to the upside or to uh, uh reverse to the downside in fact um uh, for many traders it is a sign of exhaustion all right it's an exhaustion sign that hey price has uh is exhausted and can no longer push to the upside so let's now go down all right um well <clears throat> for me i think this is a little bit more tricky all right so uh even though we are seeing this around that level of uh, resistance uh remember it is one of our low quality uh, setups I will not be taking uh, that trade, all right? I will not be going short at that particular point. Even though it falls to the downside, well, I am seeing the price, the bulls are still uh, intact around this area. And so I'll be very careful hitting on my sell button, all right? I'll be extremely careful uh, doing that. In the daily time frame, I will rather be watching this channel, right? I'll be watching uh, this little range that is forming right here. Uh, that is what I'll be watching to see if price comes down uh, the reaction I get around this area <coughs> whether to go uh, to the upside or a break to the downside if we get a break to the downside well that will be fine it means after this double top we have a break then we'll be waiting for a pullback and of course be trading our reversal formation but if I hit uh, my shot my sell button right there there is not just enough room all right to the downside so I'm just going to be waiting uh, this lead to congestion you are seeing here is of is obviously the uh, uh doji that we saw in the uh, uh weekly time frame okay so for now uh i am only advising that hey uh there's market confusion here but then there is not a strong enough signal to uh, go short so if you're hitting on your sell button be extremely careful all right, the next one is Australian dollar against the uh, American dollar. This is the weekly time frame. Well, uh, quite an ugly chart here to uh, analyze, but then um, we are seeing that uh, linear trend line, right? That line right there, that uh, price uh, respected, it's the outer trend line, all right? The outer trend line. But it's now being breached. You can see the breach right there. Of course, price has uh, violated that level and of course, this line is no longer uh, giving priority. Now, the next level is this one here. 
all right so there is still room to the upside and of course uh for us we'll be more interested in long opportunities in the australian dollar against the american dollar so we'll be looking for uh, opportunities to go long in this pair in the daily time frame we have uh, a little range okay so it will be better to see price uh pushing through that range then for us to look for uh pullback and to keep uh, more to the upside again for us to uh, shoot for some nice peeps all right so we are bullish in the australian dollar against the uh, <coughs> american dollar all right we are bullish we are looking for only opportunities to go uh, long right so um the euro against australian dollar well here i will show you very quickly what i am seeing here um in the weekly time frame this is of course a level of uh, former support all right and now is acting as resistance you can see how it has been holding price around that area for uh, several weeks price has remained stalled around that area and of course this level here acted as support also acted as support in fact this is an area this is an area you can see how it's acted as resistance here all right but um price now pulled through price actually broke to the upside you can see um that breakout all right broke to the upside uh, violated this level right here but because it acted as resistance here okay it is now acting as support right here so we have a price currently trading around resistance and support so we have a little range little range right here now let's look into um last week uh, candle the candle itself is a fake breakout all right it tried price actually tried to push above that level that has been holding it but then it failed you can see the weak to the upside so that was a failure it couldn't continue so uh with this fake breakout we are expecting price to uh, push to the downside all right uh even though it's not going to this is a level of support even though that's a level of support uh we are expecting price to move down uh to this area right for the week so we're expecting some downside um that makes us uh, give uh we're going to be giving the bears uh, more priority in this uh, pair for the week all right the euro against the australian dollar uh will be more interested in uh, short opportunities at least uh, squeezing some nice peeps uh to the next level of uh support all right all of this so that's our position for the week we'll be looking for short entries uh, of course, for those of you who are members of the uh, live trading room, we are going to be uh, yeah, members of the signal service. Of course, we'll be letting you know when we take the entry. Uh, for the Canadian dollar against the uh, Japanese yen, here I just want to show you what's going on in the weekly time frame. Uh, price broke a key level of support, right, with a momentum candle. You can see that candle right there. But then, uh, in fact, we are looking for congestion then continuation move now this type of congestion is a tricky one all right it's uh, something that um, we, 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 need, we need to be extremely careful about uh, ideally we're supposed to see another candle push to the downside for the week all right uh, usually we should place our sell stop order then a stop loss right there expecting price to go down again but we're not going to be doing that right uh, because technically um, I really do not like the type of congestion well if it pushes to the downside well i, I will not be uh, angry with myself okay i am only being selective and of course um because i do not like the nature of this congestion candle i am not going to be taking uh this trade uh some of you may be asking what is the nature of candle you want to see well i want to see something like this small body to the upside uh, sorry small week to the upside small week to the downside a little body that is what i want to see um i don't want to see uh, an inverted hammer formation all right i don't want to see that um so that's the reason why i'm not going to be taking this just so uh you know about that then uh, finally let's look into repair that will be triggering an entry uh, as soon as the market opens all right so that's our last pair for this review um let's see how we're going to take the entry the uh, sterling pounds against the Australian dollar. This is um, the weekly time frame. Uh, this is where we are going to be taking our entry for our first pair for uh, this week. 
and of course uh, for those of you who understand the strategy you are already seeing uh, the fake breakout right there uh, this is a key level that acted as support and now resistance all right price went there came back down the next time it went to challenge that area again what did we get got a rejection the rejection of that level if i uh, zoom in you see um, that you see what i'm talking about so we are going to be placing our order here trading this um, this uh, fake breakout okay so um that is it nothing much uh, but let's hope that we are going to be finding uh price move uh, swiftly all right very quickly in our direction uh on that pair uh, once again thanks again, uh, for watching this uh, video uh, of course we hope to see a profitable trade. Bye for now.